The amount of information is enormous. LPRs don't discriminate. They scan every license plate, even on cars going the opposite direction, recording where you are and what time it is, and storing it up to two and a half years, all linked to the seven digits on the back of your car. We can type in a tag and it can give us a time and date stamp and a GPS coordinate of where that tag was last seen. We rode with the Georgia State Patrol. It has 65 mobile readers to cover the state. Trooper Trey Thomas showed us how his two scanners see things he can't, like stolen cars and wanted felons. I don't have to be constantly sucked into the computer running tags. I can let the, the cameras do the work for me. In just one year, GSP scanned a staggering 42 million tags. Even smaller departments like Snellville scan thousands each month. In June of this year, the city of Atlanta, which has 347 mounted readers, collected 29 and a half million license plates. Well, to give you an idea of just how much information these agencies collect, we built these maps. Take a look at this one. Each one of these red dots represents an individual license plate scan. All of this is just for one month last year in Gwinnett County. Nearly 149,000 scans. And this right here is Georgia State Patrol data. Just two days worth, more than 250,000 scans. The government should not be collecting information on everybody in order to go after a small portion of people. Dave Moss studies LPRs for the Electronic Frontier Foundation, a nonprofit privacy rights group. He says license plate data can reveal personal details on innocent people, what church they go to, what political demonstrations they attend. Using even a limited amount of APD data, we were able to plot several vehicles' travel patterns for a single day. They capture information on everybody. They're a form of mass surveillance. That's the government. They do stuff like that all the time. It could be a problem just because it could leak out. If you're not doing anything wrong, you have nothing to worry about. Through August of this year, Atlanta police made 209 arrests from LPR alerts. In Conyers, after a title pawn store was hit by a serial armed robber, a responding officer's LPR picked up the tag on a fleeing vehicle. We go back and check that tag to discover that tag had been hitting at other locations with similar robberies, and then we suddenly have a suspect that we can look into. Police were able to arrest Avery Frazier on 34 violent armed robberies. He's now serving 20 years in federal prison. It's not for us to harass you. It's not to generate activity. It's to get the folks off the streets and the stolen cars off the streets that don't need to be there. I think, though, that the average person, if they felt like somebody was following them all the time, would feel pretty uh, invaded.